we got two special spring out there and um, all the camels spoiling it. And we used to drink out of that spring. Like in the countryside, camel go anywhere, they make a lot of mess. The damage fence, everything. Trees, everything they damage. A camel that's spoiling in the country, you know. That's why, oh, even for animals, birds, for water, you know, water, they're spoiling water and all that. And there's a big number, we've got a lot of Aboriginal sacred sites and traditional places and the camels are pretty much destroying a lot of the places and drinking a lot of the spring waters and breaking a lot of the natural environment around here. We've lost a number of plants are really endangered due to camels um, and we have a very sad incident of lots and lots of um, car accidents with camels um, including um, serious injury and fatality. This is about putting in place camel management on Aboriginal land trusts um, for Central Land Council. We're working here with Papunya Rangers, um, Anangulurtrika Rangers, um, and we will be getting exercises, skills in uh, mustering camels, managing them in the yard, humane handling, welfare of animals. It's a work, you know. It should, they should all be in the work to catch a camel or send them away or whatever, you know, like this, clean the place up. Uh, we just put up this portable yard to just to keep the camel numbers down and we got two of these um, wings um, so we can uh, bring them out with a chopper, put them in through here through the gate and leave it out there for a couple of days. There's plenty more out there and it's just we've got to keep going and until the job's done it's going to take years and years but we're not going to stop, you know, generations of our kids are going to be still going at this when we're gone, so it's a matter of teaching our generation, the younger generation, these skills what we have and learnt off our families and ancestors and keep it going.